Hi there, um, just out on another weekend, it's starting to rain, that's not going to bother me, I've got the survival tube, that's what I'm going to be reviewing today, so let's have a look at it eh? First things first, I need some water, I'm going to filter it from the stream, right over here. And uh, by the time I've done that, that's going to be good to drink. Uh, it's a lovely little filter system. I promised you I'd show it you in action. And now, here it is. And what I want to do here is find a faster flowing bit of water. Uh, I mean, this filter will filter stagnant putrid water but I don't fancy it it's running quite fast over here just by this bridge so uh, I'm gonna have a quick look at it here yeah just here will do look at it, it's lovely it's uh, running fast I'm not far from uh, I'm say not far about two miles from the sea so uh, this water will have a lot of grime in it it needs filtering it looks clean Believe me, it's not. Hello there. Water filter. It's pretty important to have filtered water. Uh, great bit of kit. It's little. I thought it's 2,000 litres, this. It is great. Uh, you have to forgive me for the background noise. It's uh, quite close to a suburban area. Uh, canteen. Filter. Easy. Throw it in. At the other end, the canteen. And all I'm going to do. Get some of the water properly. All I'm going to do now is pump. Different kind of filters on the market. Uh, so it's best to check them all out, see which one suits you. Uh, I'm looking at another one now, that's more like um, just a normal drinking bottle really. You dip the whole thing in stream and you squirt it uh, straight into your mouth, filtered water, no pumping. Uh, that took me about, I don't know, five minutes to get about a litre. No, it wouldn't be five minutes. It was five minutes because I knocked the first one over, uh, so that wasn't a good start. Uh, you got to filter your water or boil it. I haven't got time for that. So uh, check out your water source. Check out your filters. Uh, this is a field that I crossed uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, and you know one thing I forgot to do. Check what animals are in it today. Sheep. And the reason I tell you that is uh, I seem to remember the farmer a couple of years ago having bulls in it. And I got right out to the middle of this field before I realised it could have some sort of bulls. Don't want them chasing me. No, I mean, I'm not that fit. I can't outrun a bull. Uh, can't make this thing zoom in but trust me there are sheep in this field and not bulls so there's another thing I'm gonna do next time is check out what animals are in it that's where I'm heading uh, the big mountain up here That is nothing but a mountain covered in trees. I mean, it's not actually woodland, it's uncoppiced. No one's been looking after this. Bloody ambulance now, uh, ruining things for us. It's nice to get up there, you know, get away from all this noise, get away from some of the stresses of life as well. And uh, 
today we're going to do it in style, a bit of comfort. We're going to use a survival tube. Oh, it's nice to get out, you know. It's uh, out of the town. It's noisy. And the minute you're in the countryside, oh, it's lovely. A bit of peace and quiet. Other than them seagulls. Still quite close to the coast, but it's a lot more quiet. I like it. Not far away now from the uh, location I've shown you, that green that green piece of land we saw. It's about another half a click up the road and, uh, and then we're there. I mean just look at it round here, it's gorgeous. There's where I come from and uh, zoom in, that's the sea in the background. Up the lane. I mean, isn't that pretty? I mean, we're absolutely. We could could be anywhere. It's beautiful. Anyway, time to carry on. Otherwise, we'll never get there. Uh, it is now just gone past one, and I like to allow a bit of time for getting home because it's not an overnighter. I uh, haven't had lunch, but I've stopped off and I've got some steaks, so we're going to have steaks for lunch. Well, I say, we are, I am. Have a look at this, I might just like this. It's a big giraffe. <laughs> it's not. It's made out of an old tree, tree trunk. Isn't that great? But you wish you had that in your garden. Right, carry on. So that's where I'm heading, up here. Um, it's still, believe it or not, a public footpath. I haven't strayed from it too much. Uh, it's steep. And uh, the best way to come across a steep hill that you're going to struggle with is you zigzag it. Don't climb up it. Zigzag from one side to the other. That's what I'm doing. Ooh, that's hard work. That was steep. Yeah, so someone a bit of a break. I'm in uh, that green bit that uh, I've shown you before. And if you look down here at the ground, these are the footprints of a much larger animal than a sheep. I'm hoping it's a horse because if it's not I've got a long way to run if it's a bull. Nearly there guys. Have a look at this. There we are. There's a tree line. My god. It's hot. Really hot. Well I'm hot. That's a D-layer. There it is. Steam coming off me. That was steep. Anyway, I'm in some pine forest now. Well, we've got woodland behind me. We've got pine forest right here. Look at that. And pine forest offers really good cover in the elements. You know, if it's raining, it's a pine tree you want to be standing underneath. Any uh, softwood tree, pines, firs, anything. Really good shelter. Unfortunately, it's too steep to set the uh, the blizzard bag out in. And uh, believe me, it's not a blizzard. It's uh, middle of March and it's really nice, nice weather. And as you can see, the steam is absolutely coming off me. This is a sweat wicking t-shirt and uh, it's done its job you know it now it's letting out all the sweat everything but it's field over here that might be good to uh, put the, uh, the blizzard bag out on i don't know if i can zoom in on that i'm gonna get it in there you know i'm gonna throw the camo net over it as well and have a lunch i'll see you when i get there you know for the sake of purposes 
is where I'm uh, going to set out the blizzard bag. It's, uh, it's the only flattest area I could find really. It's a field over there, could could use that a bit steep. But it's good woodland here, you know what I mean? It's uh, This has been coppiced, there's somebody managing this, fell in the trees, thinning it out. So it's definitely private uh, ground, probably National Trust. Uh, I'll just show you where I'm going to put this. Not much to it really, it's uh, trees. No widow makers, we're good to go. I'm going to put a thermo rash down there. And then uh, I'm just going to put the bag straight on top of it. I'll see you in a second. And what's this here? Nettles. Just pick these in the field there. This is going to be a cup of tea. And uh, also, I've picked some uh, some pine needles, pine needle and and nettle tea. Don't know. <laughs> Give it a go, because uh, I haven't bought my drinking chocolate with me. So uh, Bear Grylls can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I'm going to set this up. See you in a bit. Well, there it is. There's not much to it. Just a bag. It's big. It's a double. It's got a drawstrings here, and it is millennium lined. Look at that. It's like that tin foil stuff. You're getting that. It is huge in there. Get my kit in there. Get myself in there. And uh, it's rainproof. Don't need a tarp. Uh, I haven't bought one anyway. Uh, I haven't bought any other bit of kit. Survival tube and uh, tell a lie, tell a lie. Got my thermorest, haven't inflated it, I'll just put it out for a bit of comfort. Uh, and you get in that. And if I can find somewhere to put this phone, I'll show you with me inside. That's dinner on. The old Coleman stove there. Well, I'll say dinner, it's a cup of tea. It's uh, them pine needles and nettles. And uh, I actually lied to you before. I have got some drinking chocolate and I found them in my kit. A uh, bit. These are, these are ages old. Good, good, good to go. But uh, I want to try out this uh, needle, pine needle and nettle tea. I'll really taste, uh, tell you what it tastes like. Um, then again, that, that's all my kit now. It's, uh, there's camp. There's my uh, bivvy bag, uh, it's called the survival tube, it's good uh, if you've got good insulation, if you inflate your, your under mattress uh, you can get down to sub-zero temperatures in this uh, and be warm, you can roll about in the snow then get in this, it'll warm you up, it's not just like a sleeping bag, it, it's designed to be a survivalist bit bit of kit. It's really good. But listen to this. Oh, it's noisy. It's noisy. Uh, there's my camping cook set. And there's that filtered water that I got from the stream. Here. Um, and just in case you don't believe me that it's good to drink. I am thirsty and I'm going to have some right now. Mm. That's good water. Uh, you know where that water was, that water source. That would have been filthy. It would have had rats peeing in it. and It's come from all the way up here. That water source will have started right up here through uh, that dense forest at the top. It works its way all the way down to the coast where we were this morning and look at that it won't even zoom in on the coast it's, uh, it's that far away uh, how's, how's this cup of tea? well uh, it's all wilted right down um, and I've got some emergency rations let's have a look at what I've got it 